Hi everyone, I'm Tom. Today I'm going to be playing Skyward, which is a card game, an I Split You Choose card game. And uh, I'm going to be playing a two-player version today against Little Glass Marty. And all that's on the table at the start is uh, the little uh, draw pile, discard pile board. And I have a wooden token because I am the first player. So on a round of this, in a two-player game, you will draw eight cards as the warden. And we're going to take these eight cards, split them into two piles, and they don't have to be even, they can be split any way I want to, but Marty is going to get to choose first. So obviously if I put all eight in a pile, he will probably choose the pile with all eight cards in and I'll get nothing. So I want to kind of even them out, but give myself, uh, you know, an option, make both piles kind of good, but maybe try and trick Marty into having the other one because one of the piles is going to have the warden token in it so the opportunity to be the first player and a cog which can be very important as we'll see. So there's two different uh, main differences in the cards. These are basically resources, these are faction cards, these are the people we can get on our side to help us build things and then we have buildings mainly that need certain symbols to be able to build them. Then we have, there are critters and there are I can't remember what the type is for airships, but there are instant cards. So these will go out straight away if a person takes a pile with this. So the pigeon will lose you two points at the end of the game. But if you can get a rookery, then every pigeon will be worth plus one point instead. So it's a, it's a bit of a gamble. You can be stuck with them and be annoyed, but they can turn into a lot of points in the end. So there is good opportunity for somebody to be able to take you know, a pink resource and build these pink buildings. This one's two pink buildings, plus one point for every other blue or pink building in your airspace. And that that symbol means at the end of the game when we score. The garden does absolutely nothing, but it gives you three points and it's not that difficult to build. It's a pink symbol and that means anything. And then this one's a bit more complicated, uh, a yellow and then two of anything. While it's in your airspace, gain a cog when you launch a yellow or a green building. Now, I definitely don't want to put the two pinks in the same pile as this. So I think I might. If I make this pile, you know, if you take this, you'll be able to build the garden. But you can also have the pigeon. And then let's put the druid factory with these resources. And if you take this one, you'll get to be the first player. And you would lay them out a lot better than this, obviously. Uh, the cards are quite nice in that you can lay them out in this way, and then everybody can see what is in every pile. And this is the same when you're building them as well. You can build them outwards, so you'll always be able to see the abilities and the points and all of those things. So this is what I've had, and now it comes over to Marty, and he decides what he wants to take out of these. And I think he just wants to take the pile that lets him build stuff, and maybe he's going to try and get a rookery later. So we take our piles and they go into our hands, apart from the instant cards, which go straight out into our tableaus. So Marty is now at minus two points. The next stage is that, oh, I, I took the warden token, so I take a cog. This is a wild resource, basically. I can use this as anything. So really, maybe Marty would have taken that, and then he could build this. Yeah, Marty's cleverer. <laughs> Marty's cleverer than me. He would take that so he gets a cog. He would leave me with this rubbish. And he will take all of this stuff into his hand. Your hand limit is six, but it doesn't apply until the end of the round. So he is going to build the dry dock with the pink. It starts with the warden, and Marty's the new warden. So he's going to build the dry dock with his preserver here, which provides one pink, and his cog, which is a wild anything. That is now built. He's got three points, and he's going to get more points if he keeps building blue or pink buildings. And these can stay in his hand. As for me, the pigeon went straight out when I took it, and I can build the garden, or I can save stuff for later. I think I'm just going to build the garden. Let's put that out, spend pink and a wild to get it out, and that is me done. So Marty is the new warden, we go on to a new round. Marty's gonna draw eight cards and we're gonna do the exact same thing again and again until either the deck runs out or more likely someone has built six buildings. So he takes eight cards. We've got some similar things here. We've got the dry dock and the garden again. So I think Marty's gonna try and make this look really attractive with the greens. He's gonna to have to make it really attractive though to make me pick it, isn't he? Because if he can build another dry dock, that kind of doubles his um, doubles his efforts. 
If he puts the Warden on, that means the person taking this can build the Dry Dock. But is he giving himself enough of an advantage? It's a lot of resource cards, and you could put the assembly line down, which is three points. He would have to give himself the Warden token for him to be able to build the Dry Dock. I think, though, he's going to put the Warden token over here to try and make this even more attractive, and then he can just take this tiny pile and build the garden and hope to build the Dry Dock in the future. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. And while I don't want him to carry on with his uh, Dry Dock plan, I think me having all of these cards will be really useful in the future, because you can, at the end of the round, discard... For every three cards you want to discard, you can have a cog. So you can, even if things are really useless, you can exchange them for cogs. And I'll get one for taking the Warden token. So we've got no instants. They all go into our hands. And so I can put out a card this turn. So it's going to be the assembly line for me. I'm just going to spend two of my collective faction cards with the green symbols and put out this assembly line. Now, I didn't take too much of a look at it, but the steam engine's quite useful. While it is in your airspace when you built it, ignore the wild costs when you launch buildings. That could be something to get out, but I'm a, I'm a way off getting that. Does Marty want to save for his dry dock, or does he want to just get the garden out? I think he's just going to put the garden out, because it is worth more points because of the dry dock. So he's going to spend those two, and they go out. Neither of us have got three cards, so neither of us are going to be spending anything for uh, to get more cogs. And it's I'm the Warden again, so I draw eight cards. So this is what I've got to split up in the middle here. I don't want Marty to get the Warden token and a pink resource, because then he would be able to build his dry dock, which I don't want. So I'm going to separate those. And then I've got one, I've got a green and a cog. So if we look at which one I want, let's see, plus six, if you have three other buildings from the same faction in your airspace. So if I could build a lot of greens, if I'd get these up, plus three, if you have a data node in your network, I do not have a data node. I haven't seen one. So one of those would be nice, this one probably, and then I'll really want to go for one colour, because that's a lot of resources for only one point if I don't manage to get the power off. Let's look at the wall. While it's in your airspace, you can launch two buildings per turn. Wow. It's quite expensive, though. Let's see, letting Marty have all of these. See, plus four points if you have more pink buildings than your opponents, plus two for every pink building in your airspace. It's a lot of points, and he's got two pink already with another one in his hand. So I think I want to separate the pink buildings as well, not let him have both of those. So let's keep the piles going this way. I think maybe, I think I would hope to go for the one with the warden token, because I don't need pink. And I would want plus two for each other pink building, because I don't think I'm going to have more than Marty the way he's going. The wall, I don't really care about. The greens are nice, but they're kind of situational. I think Marty's going to go for this, so I'm going to put the pigeon on there. Let's put the blue here. I'm hoping to get this one. And then we could get the nexus and just hope to get three of a particular colour. And then maybe put these two in here to make them more attractive. That's looking quite good, I think. Oh, I've, I've done them the wrong way, haven't I? So you can't see what they all are. I think Marty is going to take this hand because although it's not brilliant he is going to get to exchange things for cogs as well and he's got one of those pink buildings i get the warden token again so it comes to me and i have five cards in my hand now so i could spend both of my cogs putting the market out instead and then save the nexus for the future when maybe I will have, like if I have three pinks, then I definitely want to get the Nexus out. Or I could put the steam engine out and then start ignoring wild costs. Yeah, I'm going to do that actually. So I'll pay for the two yellows with my cogs and then let's use the blue because I don't need blue for anything else. So we'll pay all of that and we'll put the steam engine out. So wild is now free for me. Marty can't get anything built. And he is going to, I think he'll hang on to those three. He'll give up these three and he will get a cog for them. 
I'm still the Warden. Okay, I want to try and put Marty off the Warden token as much as possible, because he could put his things out there. But if he is going to go for the Warden token... Oh. But in that, I, don't, I don't want to have to have another temple, because that's you know, seven more points. He's surely going to have more pink than me. At least there's no pink resources have come out. We've got two instants this time, and this is the airship I was talking about. So it's worth two points, but it's worth three points instead if you have an airship bay, which uh, I don't think we've seen yet. Observatory, plus two points for every blue building in opponent's airspaces. That's no good for anybody, so we'll put that in the pile with the pigeon for the moment. And maybe I'll put a blue with it to try and entice people, because I could build that with just a blue. Even though it's not brilliant, it's two points and it, all it costs me is a blue because I ignore wild costs. Just like this would be one yellow for me. Oh, I think we're going to put this with the yellow because that's brilliant for me. And then get, maybe give Marty all of this blue related stuff. If I give, if I give myself the pigeon, maybe that'll discourage Marty from taking this one. Yeah, I think this is what I'm going to do. Marty sees my plan though, and he doesn't care. He is taking the pile that he thinks that I want. And he takes the Warden token, he will have a cog, and this goes to me, which isn't, I don't think it's that bad. It's, it's a bit annoying. The airship goes straight out. Uh, as does Marty's pigeon. He's got another pigeon now, so he's lost another two points. So for building, we come to Marty. And he now has two cogs and a pink so maybe he will just put out or he could put he could use his pink his yellow as the wall and then his cog as the other pink and then he will put out his temple which is seven points as long as he has more pink than anyone else so he's going to discard those and the cog he's still got a spare cog and he's got those he's going to hang on to those he's not going to discard those for another cog over to me, and I think I will just... I'll definitely put this out, because I can put it out just for one blue, even though it's not that useful to me. So we've now got... Marty's got three buildings. I've got four buildings out. Do I want to discard these? Let's see. I haven't really... I, th I don't think I'm going to get three of anything. Maybe I am going to discard... I think I'm going to discard the buildings and keep the resource in case I need it for something. And I'm going to take a cog. Okay, Marty's still the cog master. So let's draw the cards. So we have cloud networks that want data nodes. We have airships again. Pigeons are a bad thing. Marty's going to try and encourage me with a pigeon. See, he doesn't know what I've got because it's a secret. And maybe he's going to try and tempt me with the cloud network, but a pigeon. Try and give himself resources so that he can build maybe the droid factory. Because no pinks have come out. So could he build something if he gets either of these? I think for either one he would need the token. He's going to put the warden token here. Now I'm taking a look at this. I would get the airship. I'd be able to do the cloud network actually if I took this one. And get some resources. Because... You know, I can't remember what Marty's got in his hand. Maybe he's doing it because he wants this stuff. But I don't want a pigeon. Maybe Marty should have put the warden token over here. Because I think this one's made a much, a, be a much better pile. So I'm just going to take that one. Marty takes this. I get a cog because I'm the new warden. And let's see what we've got. I've got some resources now. Airship. That's my second one. And for building, I am going to spend green and a cog so I can get this out because I don't want to miss out on building. So I've got five out now. And I've got those. I can't give up two for more cogs. Marty can't really stay behind. He needs a rookery to come out because uh, he is not looking good at all, is he? So he's going to get something built. So you can build the assembly line or he can take a chance on maybe getting a data node in the future. He's going to take a chance and pay his green and his only cog. I don't think he did a very good split there. He's going to give up these three and keep the other temple as... Oh, the focus went a bit weird there. He's going to keep the other temple because that's another seven points if he can get it out and maybe that would save him. 
I'm the warden though. Now I know Marty needs the rookery. He's got so many pigeons, so I want to try and make that pile terrible. Let's see, this costs three orange to build, so nobody's going to be able to do that, I don't think. Sky Command, you can launch a blue building without paying its cost. Uh, gain a cog for building the foundry. Because this is, if I can build a building, this is it. I can just put it out, and the, the rookery, I could put straight out. I have a cog, so whether I've got resources or not. But if I put the market in there and give him that, that's going to be really bad. If I do this, he can build the foundry, and then that's okay. Because if he takes this, if he takes this, he's not going to be able to build anything. So it means I'm going to have to put the warden token over here. I can still build the rookery because I have a cog. And the rookery would earn me three points for the thing and then more for the pigeons. Yeah, I think I'm going to do this. And Marty looks at that and forlornly... <laughs> knows that the round is probably the game is probably going to end i'm probably going to build the sixth building so he's just going to resign and take this he's got a cog though so maybe he'll be able to build something a bit nicer i think none of this stuff is that great the most he can get is about four points just a bit of a sh but we are forgetting uh, was i forgetting this when i did the split he's had this temple for ages and ages he's already got one out but this temple two cogs and a pink lets him build that, so maybe he's still in it. And I can discard and stuff, but cogs, unless you've got a certain building, cogs aren't worth anything, so uh, it doesn't matter whether I've got cards or cogs at the end. What can I build for the most? I've only actually got one cog, so it's the rookery. I've got one cog and then these are no good, so I'm building the rookery. And this is good because my minus two pigeon now becomes plus one, and Every opponent may send me a pigeon. And in a two-player game, you might as well send the other person your pigeon because although it's giving them a point, it's effectively earning you two points. So Marty will send me a pigeon. And that is the game. So let's see how many points we've got. So my pigeons are worth one because I have a rookery. So one, two, five, eight. I haven't got a data node. So 10, 13... 17, 19, 21, 23. Marty didn't build any blues, so that doesn't earn anything extra. 23 points for me. Marty has two. These are worth seven each because he does have more pink buildings than I do. So 7, 14, 16, 19, 22, 23, 24, 25. 21. So it's very close, but just uh, by two points, I managed to win it. So that is Skywood at two players. I hope that gives you a good idea of what the basic game is like. If you'd like to know what I think and uh, hear a little bit about the expansion that comes with the game, then you can click the link for the first impressions that's on the screen. But uh, I think that's it. Thank you very much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you for the next game. Bye.